Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Science with Melda. Today with me on the show, I have a singer. I'm not going to tell the person yet. I'm sure your guesses are good at mine. Let's head on to see who the person is. So today with me on the show, I have Chris Real, who is very talented and good in singing. He will tell us a few things about how he started and where he is now. Good day, Chris Real. Hello. It's really nice having you today on the show with me. Same here. So yeah, we're going to dive straight into the question. So what exactly is Chris Rio or your real name? Um, no, Chris Rio is a, it's an acronym. Um, Chris is my, was my dad's name. Okay. Um, I took my dad's name, Chris, after he passed when I was nine. Wow. Um, and uh, Rio is an acronym for my middle names. My okay. actual name and my middle names. So that's why. Oh. So when did, well, like, at what time or age in your life did you find out that you had the talent of singing? I think all my life I've been singing. Um, okay. And in my family, we ha- have three sisters. Okay. And uh, growing up, you know, we used to have this like morning devotion thing, you know, so you're like a small choir in the okay. house. Okay. <laughs> so we all knew how to sing. So I've always known how to sing. Um, but I think I never took music seriously up until I think when I was 15. Wow. Um, okay, like, what's the inspiration for us when you write a song, when you sing? What really inspires you? A lot of things. Um, I-, I won't say there's one thing, but it's just my experiences, you know, the experiences of others around me. Um, my interactions with people with life, you know, just the things that I encounter and the things that I can understand, I try to interpret them in songs. So that's how it comes usually. Okay. So like what's achievement so far? What what exactly would you say have been a like top point in your life through your career? Um, well, there have been a couple. I think first the first thing was for me overcoming my shyness. I used to be very shy. Really? You know, hard to believe. But I used to be very, very shy as a child. Um, so getting on stage even to perform a song was was a hurdle. But eventually I got over it. You know, I remember back in 300 level when I was in school, um, I performed on stage for the first time in front of the whole CU audience. <laughs> yeah, it was like He's a CU boy. Yeah, you know, rapping. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so that was definitely a bold step and you know over time I've developed that and I've overcome that. So first first milestone for me was just overcoming that and being able to perform in front of people. Okay. Um of course I have released a couple songs online. Um they've done pretty well. I think uh, and another great point of my life was when I released my EP last year, 2015. Unveiled on iTunes and it was, Yeah. Um, people really like the album, especially yeah. these two songs. Um no, no, no. Why um, so serious? In this pic- something of irrevocable. Irrevocable, yeah. yeah. Irrevocable. <laughs> irrevocable was a great song. Yeah. So, what inspired that song? Um, God. Really? To be honest, yeah. It was, uh, it was just coming from a real place. I was just like, you know, I'm going to serve God and I don't care what people think of that. You know, that's just my decision. It's irrevocable. Okay. Yeah, so that's how that happened. Okay. So, like, what would you say is a general song? Mm, I'm still discovering that, I won't lie to you. So um, now, what do you do? Please do. Well, people, some people think I'm an R&B artist. Okay. Uh, you know, some people think I'm an I'm a pop artist. Okay. Um, some other people think I'm EDM. What's those? Yeah, electronic dance music. You know, okay. I did like two EDM songs with Squared on the EP. Okay. Um, but honestly, I don't have one style. Okay. I'm still discovering. I'm still, yeah, I'm experimenting different things. And okay. I'm just, whatever comes to me, I'm just working with it. Okay. Yeah. So like I'm sure you've had setbacks during and within even now. Would you share some with us? Setbacks. Um, <clears throat> I think the only, the major thing is just you know when you have as an artist the major thing is when you have great music uh, and you're trying to get it to people you know get as many people as possible to hear your music you know, because you believe in yourself and everything you know so you believe that you can be one of the greats and then you put out the song and you know people some people respond to it not everybody gets it you know. It's kind of hard promoting yourself as an upcoming artist, pretty much. Um, but uh, I won't say it's a setback, it's just something that we grow into. You know, eventually we work into, I work into, and there's a point, you points. Know. Um, I work into what works for me, and uh, keep on discovering, keep on trying new things, and then uh, getting music to as many people. Um, yeah, so that's how, I think that's, it's not, it's not really a setback per se, but it's just, it's a phase. It's a phase that everybody goes through, whatever it is that you're doing. You know, there will be a time where you only have like your family as your customers, and then eventually things begin to grow. So um, that's I think that's the only major thing I encountered in my music. So far. like, what future plans do you have for your career and stuff? There are a lot of a lot of things coming up. A lot of great music. I actually right now I have 
over two albums ready. Just waiting to happen. Cool, cool, cool. I'm the number one fan and just remember that. <laughs> yeah, so there's a lot of things coming. A lot, a lot, so much. I, I, I'm more excited to give you guys music than you have to receive it. So it's just okay. a matter of time now. Yeah, so people out there are watching with different, um, like hoping to start different businesses, entrepreneurship works. What advice will you give them? <clears throat> well, coming from, I mean, from what I know as an artist, I would say, you know, there, there's going to be a lot of times where you know you won't have people. People won't believe in you. Some people, won't, a lot of people, won't believe in you immediately. Um, some people might even try to take your dream. Some people will tell you that it's messed up, and then turn around and do exactly the same thing. You get? Wow. So you're going to meet all kinds of people around your life, but you know. Starting up anything, you have to go through that phase, it's a necessary phase. Um, but I would say that, you know, just stick to your guns and uh, stay inspired, stay driven and don't let anybody stop you. You know, just keep going, keep trying, keep getting better, keep learning, don't stop learning. And uh, keep using the knowledge that you have, you know, to make the best of what you're doing. And that applies to everything, so I think that's what I would say. Okay, so. Thank you very much, Rio. So we heard a lot from him, so we move into the next segment. Good for me, man. Let's see how he does. section I would give real this set of papers and anyone he picks he would have to act like it so the name of the section is act like it on goofy moment let's see how he does so real please kindly pick one of the papers here okay. All right. so you act like what was written and I'll try to guess what it was Let's see how Rio does. You don't have to tell me. Just, you know, lay it down. <laughs> Woo. Good morning, class. How are you doing today? A hey, teacher. Okay. Yeah. You know, today's topic, you're going to talk about Spirochira and uh, Hamweba. Do you like Hamweba? Have you heard about Hamweba before? God, this is Hamweba. Hamweba. It's a species of microorganism. A Yoruba person acting like a lecturer. Yeah, yeah, you're almost there. I don't know what else to do, Bob. <laughs> I'll just keep trying. Um... Jennifer! <laughs> <laughs> it's my turn. Why? Okay. <sighs> oh shit. Okay. <clears throat> Where is your paper? You see, this is why all these Jagaban nonsense are trying to run me down. What is all this? Um. Where are your particulars and paper? Yeah, police woman, policeman. The key, please, man. Um, so you see, if I'm a bad guy. <laughs> <Your fault. laughs> okay, one last, your last round. Oh come on. Pick one. <laughs> Why me, Lord? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hey, doctor. I need you to. Uh, let's take your temperature. Is that a stick or. You're a doctor? Yeah, yeah. Don't mind me. Uh, I'm going to use this as a thing. Okay. You're a doctor. Yeah. I still. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. So high, man. Damn. <laughs> my God, Why is the temperature so high? <laughs> I got just to say, doctor. Yo, what the heck? <laughs> okay. 
Okay, I have the last round. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus. Hey, shoot, shoot for sale, shoot for sale. Okay. Come by, yo, 50 50 now. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Yeah, trader, obviously. Yes. Oh! Oh, you a leg bow. Whiskey, oh, whiskey yeah, the <laughs> yeah, whiskey the train. Wow, it's been a wonderful section. <laughs> I've really had a lot of fun at the Goofy Moment and interview and advice because I did fun and learned a lot. So, till then, I'm your humble host, Kwabi and I hope you keep on watching new episodes and other episodes and times in order. Till then, take care. Bye.